First patron question is from Rob. He is asking, what is the main difference between Christianity and Islam when it comes to forgiveness for sins? So my understanding of this is that in Christianity, like only God or through the intercession of Jesus Christ. Well, if you're a Catholic, priests can forgive your sins through confession, but it's only through the intercession of Jesus Christ that they have the ability to do that. Anyways, ultimately, it's only God that can forgive your sins, and you just have to talk to him directly. My understanding with Islam is, is that depending on the sin or the wrong you committed, you actually have to go talk to the person who you wronged. Can you explain that, Armin? Yeah, so this is one of those things where Islam makes more sense than Christianity. I mean, they're all uh, crazy, but on there's like different levels of crazy and i think and this christianity is more crazy than islam okay so in christianity if susie walks up to me and just slaps me in the face for no reason okay um and i'm like what the hell she was like oopsie i did a uh, wrong like so never that's all good i could just go to jesus and be like hey jesus i made an oopsie i'm sorry and just like it's okay, Susie, it's okay. And uh, it will just go away. The sin will go away, okay? As long as Susie really believes in Jesus and asks for forgiveness, and it's all good, okay? But in Islam, you can't do that. In Islam, like you can't just skip right over me. Like, hello, I was the Jesus, Mr. Jesus, I was the one who was slapped. What are you doing? Like, I am not okay with Susie. She's the one who slapped me. And you're just forgiving her but like without like like i'm not forgiving her but like i'm apparently i'm so, supposed to i'm supposed to forgive everybody even if i don't want to okay in islam it doesn't work like that in islam susie cannot go to allah and be like i slapped armin sorry allah allah is like um have you talked to armin yet allah allah makes more sense in this one regard than jesus allah is like you need that Armin's forgiveness. I'm not going to be forgiving you until Armin forgives you, all right? And if Armin doesn't forgive you, Susie's going to burn for that slap for a while, all right, in, in hell, okay? Um, so in Islam, there's two types of sins. They're called sins against God and sins against man, okay? By man, they mean man and woman. But sins against God, Allah is like, could forgive it. Like, you don't need anyone's forgiveness. Allah could be like, if you go to obey and ask Allah directly, he could be like, fine. Like, sins against Allah, sins against God are like, you missed your prayer. You didn't do your fasting. Um, I don't can't think of anything else. Because the shirk, you can't do shirk. Shirk is not going to forgive, okay? But most other sins, he's going to be like, sure, Susie missed the prayer. Susie is like, oopsie, I, 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 I slept in, I didn't do my, prayer, my morning prayers. Or during Ramadan, I was really hungry, and that like that piece of cake looked really good, and I broke my fast. I'm sorry, Allah, tobe, tobe, tobe. Allah is like, okay, Susie, just don't do it again. I'll forgive you this time, okay? But since against, since against God, God could like wipe it clean if you, if you ask for forgiveness. But since against man, you really have to go and hunt the people down that you have wronged, and ask them specifically for forgiveness, okay? And as a child, we were we were given the story, for example, that uh, this really good man, religious, good, religious, and good, or you, they use them interchangeably. This really uh, religious man went and borrowed some money from, like a, like just one coin, like from somebody that he really needed it. And in Islam, like they tell you, like make sure you pay back your debt. Like it's really important because if you don't pay back your debt and that person and you, you don't have a chance to pay it back, then you have to pay back in hell, right? So this man, like, you're like he knew, like it was such a small amount, so he didn't have to pay it back. He know he's gonna pay it back one day, right? So it, he didn't think it was a big deal, uh, but eventually he remembered, like he was looking in his books and the, the debts he owed. He's like, oh yeah, I owe this man, like really, like like half a cent or something like it's a really small amount but he he has to make sure that he's clean so he just went to the guy's store and apparently the store was closed and all uh and he just threw this coin under the store to the man right but then he 
went back home and he fell asleep and God showed him what's going to happen to him in hell. That that one coin that he actually didn't return because he wasn't he didn't make sure that the person received it turned like fiery red with fire like it was so hot and it was got like it, it was like stuck on his body in hell. And here like he was just telling people like oh my god I had a revelation. By the way this story itself is jerk because this man just had a revelation from God and he's not a goddamn prophet. So, I mean, it's not a shirk, but it's like it's, kind of, it's like kind of challenging the idea of Khatim al Nabi, like the last Muhammad being the last prophet. Anyways, like ignore the details. The whole the the morale of the story is that you need to ask people, like you need to go and find everybody that you have thought that you uh, that you think you have wronged, and just beg them for forgiveness because if they don't forgive you, you have to pay you have to pay for it in hell, right? Uh, the the part that doesn't make sense is like just being like having paying for all this wrongdoing and with fire and you know because apparently one slap in my face like Susanna is going to be like tortured for it in hell which doesn't seem like proportional uh, so that part of it doesn't make sense but uh, the part the part that like Allah is just not going to you can't just like bypass the people you've wronged and go to Allah like because this the way the system works in Christianity you could commit like five and a half genocide and then uh molest a whole bunch of children and then go oopsie Jesus oopsie I did my I did another genocide I did another genocide can you forgive me Jesus and then like oh I molested another child can you forgive me Jesus and just like okay I'll forgive you again it's okay um you believe in me right and like yeah i believe in you and i'm like okay sure you go to heaven okay so this is a major loophole in like it's it's amazing that religions claim that they have the best moral standards and yet this is what they come up with like i could commit five and a half genocide and still go to heaven because i said i believe in jesus right and this is the moral structure so G christianity's moral system seems to be more insane even compared to islam so that's my that's my comparison. Sorry, that went for a while. I would agree that actually Islam makes more sense in this regard. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.